everybody welcome back to the channel sarah sarah and this is th this is gonna be a good video i i'm i'm excited about this one because when i saw what is going on i got pretty dang excited it's a little spicy is it ah! yes um there. time stamps down below at the end of the video we're gonna go over a couple two very very small things but um look out for time stamps okay so First thing we're gonna get into, um, it is international play is back. First of all, US Women's National Team had a friendly over the weekend. We're not gonna talk about it in this video. We will probably make a video after they play their game on the 28th. Um, so we're not gonna talk about that, but some exciting games happened. And this, I think this is the one I think most people were kind of looking forward to. Um, it was a friendly and it was England versus the Netherlands. And the Euros are right around the corner. They, they're starting on the 6th of July. So they are just around the corner. Um, mm -hmm. As we know, the Netherlands are the reigning champions of the Euros. And England, it's being it's in England this year. So it's going to be hosted in England. And we're not really going to talk much about the match based on the based on the title, if you know where we're going. But the, the game is uh, played in England. Uh, so this was a hot match, England versus the Netherlands. There's so many storylines going on with this match too. One thing that most people thought was kind of wild was England, was, they were both in their third kit. So their third kit. So England was actually in orange. As I think that <laughs> England was in orange and the Netherlands were, were in like a red, white, and blue because their flag is also red, white, and blue. But that they're illegal. So most people thought that was pretty funny probably confusing <laughs> isn't that confusing yeah. um and also i mean there is that storyline with the old netherlands coach it was serena vigman that i'm sorry i, I am mispronouncing that and she now coaches england and she's coaching against the team that she just coached again last year and i don't, I don't think i think well, that's pretty wild yeah that is wild I've only really seen the highlights. Actually, I'm thinking about we should just watch it full on, even though it was a week later. But the highlights were killer. Um, in the match, Netherlands scored first. It ended up being five one was the the score five one. But even wow. like there was a wild goal by Lucy Bronze, uh, which it was a wild goal. Oh, my girl. Good for her. <laughs> she <laughs> even was like, well, how did that happen? How that? It's like you can't plan those things. Um, That's wild. So a wild goal from her. That's like one in a million. I know, isn't it? But, you know, who plays for Netherlands and who plays for England? Beth Mead and Daniel Van der Donk. Two of our favorites. I mean, we've done videos about what's kind of going on with them. You know, a lot of people are kind of looking at this game, you know, uh, because... Were they going to interact? Were they not going to interact? You know, what was going to go on? So they both did not start. But here's kind of the ironic part. They both came in the game right at half. They both were kind of standing next to each other. You don't really see um, them standing, but you, you, they just go in together. And even Beth kind of gives a sly little look to the left. It looks like she's looking at Dan. So she looks and then she gives a look and Dan, that goes, there goes Dan. Oh, okay. So, I mean, they were right next. Did you kind of see that look she gave a little bit? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that was the first little glimpse of they they were both playing. Then I will say England had a great, I mean, a killer second half. Like, so exciting. The crowd was so into it. Um, and part of that, Beth Mead scored two goals in the second Ooh. half. Um, and that, you know, she comes in the second half, scores two goals, and it set a record for most goals in a season from an English player, a man or woman. Oh, nice. So good. she was kind of on top of the world. So the game ends, England is pumped, Netherlands, you know, um, they're kind of panning around. And then, you know, people are hugging each other. Favorite part of the, watching the, the games is watching the after who, I who know. hugs who who hugs friends who? with who what's going on exactly i agree with that so you see at the very end so then beth Mead is pomp she scored twice she's pomp she's hugging everyone you see dan hugging serena obviously they know each other well and then hugging and then you see dan right there going right for the hug and you see then the camera cuts right to the hug and they're hugging i mean <laughs> And laughing, smiling, yes. or something. And look at how sincere Beth looks at Dan. Um, let's see. Look at how sincere Beth is looking at. Like, how you feeling? How's it going? What are you doing? You know <laughs> how, exactly what was said. What you have for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna have for dinner? Exactly. She was pumped. Um, and I think in that moment too, I think a 
Beth is kind of on top of the world at that moment. You know, she just scored mm-hmm. two. Her team won. You know, Dan probably is kind of bummed that, that her team didn't perform like she probably wanted to. Dan, you know, Dan's the one who has a new girlfriend. And everyone knows Dan has a new girlfriend. You know, everyone knows the storyline. But, I mean, they're friends. Obviously, we talked about it in the last video. And that's what it looks like here. It looks like they're good friends. Also, Beth follows Ellie carpenter danielle's new girlfriend mm-hmm. on social media she follows her at least on instagram i think that's pretty cool okay so what what did you think about that hug i thought it was cute um not surprised by it actually i was a teeny tiny it was so kind of like a like a big hug it was like they're chatting a hug so but you weren't surprised it's a european hug you know oh that's true they're both european you know those euros <laughs> <laughs> i just thought that hug was so sincere you know it just looks so sweet, so sincere, just so much yeah, love. It was cute. So much love between them. So even genuine. Genuine, yes, sincere, genuine, even though it didn't work out for them. Relationship wise, they're going to always be friends, it looks like, you know. Friends forever. Woo! Congrats to Beth. I think she was player of the match, had the record. And also, England just looks great. England looks really good. They are... The Lucy Browns, they always look good. Oh, dear. Oh, that dear. That was creepy, but you know. Oh, dear. <laughs> you um, know what I meant. So, England does look really good. I think a lot of people are picking them. Um, <laughs> okay, so, that was exciting. Loved it. Uh, obsessed. Obsessed with it. But, you know, I want to stay cool about it, too. I'm just like, you guys are friends. You guys can say friends. No, you know? you're fangirling, too. Hard. I know. That's the thing. It is totally a fangirl thing, but obsessed. Okay. We're just going to move over to a story that's not really related, but I mean, I got a lot of, this story got a lot of people talking as well. Um, you know, it's about a new couple. New, I'm going to put this in the title too. New couple alert. We had the new couple with Carson Pickett and Abby Ursig, and this is a new couple as well. As we all know, Marta, if you know soccer, man or woman soccer, you know Marta. She posted a picture, a few pictures, three days ago. And yeah, it looks like a little something, something's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, so she posted that she is in Hawaii. It's kind of like a photo dump from Hawaii. Oh, I love Hawaii. So pretty. And so, but one of the photos is a picture of her and someone. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was Gigi, Gigi Hadid. Yeah. It yeah. Not. It looks like her. <laughs> but the person is um, one of her teammates on uh, Pride, Carrie Lawrence. I'm going to be 100% honest. I had never followed. I like, didn't really know the name Carrie Lawrence. I watched Pride, but I don't know. But she is a player on the Pride. And it looks like this is a new couple. And then also Carrie posted on hers uh, a picture of the photo dump with Marta and or photo dump with Maui with Marta as well. I mean, this is what it looks like in the picture Marta posted there, you know, doing a little kissy kissy. I'm saying official new couple, and I think a lot of people were surprised by this couple. A, Carrie's a younger player. She's, well, she's younger than Marta. It's a 12 years difference, which in today's day isn't much. I mean, I re- there's so many age differences. I know that's not a big thing, but um, Carrie joined the team. Uh, I believe I read she was like a provisional player in 2019 mm. and then joined the roster. And, you know, well, the reason why this is extra wild is I don't know if we've talked about this on the channel. Maybe we have. So I guess Marta and Tony broke up. Yeah. I mean, we did. Like unofficially. Right. So we did do that video over the Christmas about about Christmas time saying who looks like they're together still. Who doesn't? We mentioned that Marta and Tony, it looked like they had separated based on, you know, you can tell a lot by social media. They weren't posting pictures with each other anymore. They um, for Christmas, they weren't together. It looked like they just were living separate lives. So they never made an announcement together. And they were engaged. Engaged. Yeah, I was expecting an announcement, I guess, because they were engaged. Because they did do, like, a public... Yeah. Such a public thing. Yeah. yeah. This is the announcement. Hey, we broke up slash I'm together with I'm together with Carrie. You know. But yeah, they were engaged. And, you know, it sucks. I don't know. Like, I always think sometimes... If an engagement doesn't work, it's almost if people break up during an engagement, it's almost like, okay, we were never meant to be married, you know? Right. Because I know I they had been together for a few years too. Tony and Marty. 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 Tony and Marta. <laughs> and that's hard, you know, for and I you know, they lived together, I believed, in Florida and they yeah. still play and they still all play on the same team together. You know, Mar- Tony does still play for Pride, so they're all you know, Marta's hurt right now, but um, I want to see what the locker room's like. Yeah. 
you know, I wonder, you know, and that's a question we just about talked about Dan and Beth being friends. I wonder if Marta and Tony are still friends or is it really awkward? Who knows? Maybe they are, you know. I hope so. So new couple alert. Hot, hot, though. Hot couple, though. So what does everyone think about this new hot couple alert? I mean, were you surprised? I am, you know. So those are the two main stories. The other story I want to talk about is one story that we talked about with Kristen Press the other day. And we, you know, we talked about Kristen Press, um, did a photo dump, and, you know, she's looking good. Sarah and I had made a comment that she looks like she had surgery, but we actually got an Instagram message saying, they said, Kristen hasn't had her knee surgery yet. She would have a very visible wound. It's very common to wait with surgery after an ACL tear because of swelling and physical therapy to build up muscle strength to help with the be- with a better rehab process after the surgery. The little device she had around her left leg indicates that. They, this person um, had some experience with like knee surgery. So I appreciate this person um, letting us know that because we're dumb and... <laughs> <laughs> we I saw crutches and I thought, oh, she wants to have her surgery. But this person is like, it's 1000% right. Well, and now that you mention it, yeah, she didn't even have any, there was no Bandages. wound or bandage or anything. Yeah. And now thinking back, I think that's weird. But yeah. I don't, we don't think at the time, do we? Yeah, we don't. Sorry for that. We, we but don't. I appreciate um, them telling us because yeah. um, that makes so much sense. I appreciate that. The very last thing we're going to talk about is just kind of about our last video that we did. We just want to thank everyone for the more personal video we did last week or two days ago about the story about Sarah and her mom. People left such nice comments and such encouraging comments. And, you know, a lot of people shared kind of their story as well. Yeah, I lo- loved reading all the comments and... Um, you know, someone did say something good. They said, you know, we all have a similar experience and we're all in this together, you know, and that's so true. <laughs> but so thank you to everyone left a comment. Um, I've ignored her for two days <laughs> and it felt good. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, I will talk to her once she knows that I'm mad at her. <laughs> well, it's yeah. been two days, so she doesn't know I'm ignoring her yet. Um, she's texted me twice, but, uh, yeah, so... We'll see. What do you guys think? Uh, what do you think about the ba- Dan and Beth moment? Um, and also, Beth Mead is killing it. Killing it. From last year, not making the Olympic squad, to this year, killing it so much. Since she's such a fun player to watch. Also, what do you think about Marta and Carrie? I mean, get it, girl. Mary. Get it. <laughs> Mary. Or Carter. Oh, Carter. yeah. Carter. I Carter. Like it. I like it. Um, what do you guys think? Thanks again for everything. We will be back. And like I said, there's a lot going on. Some international couples we I think we will talk about. We just need to do a little more information on them. So look out for that in the next couple of weeks. Euro starting. Sarah and I are pumped. Um, yeah, a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Questions, comments down below. Everyone, everyone have a great night and we'll talk to you soon.